Good morning, sir. I hope you are doing well. I wanted to give a little bit of a backstory, and it was a little bit easier for me just to say it instead of typing it out. Um, to start off, I have been and am still currently a single parent. Um, now, mind you, all of my children are over the age of 18, but one of them is autistic, and she lives with me. Um, I have had nothing but bad luck over the course of most of my life. Um, but right now, I'm hoping and praying that you see this, and the community and yourself is able to help me um, I am a rideshare driver in the Kansas City metropolitan area. I have been doing this for several months now since I officially moved up here in August. I had to move to get away from my mom and my aunt who was attempting to financially take advantage of myself and my daughter especially since my aunt is a repeat drug user for what I'm guessing is meth and other stuff. But ever since I moved up here, it has been one stressful moment after another from trying to recover from everything that I've been through. I personally am a survivor of abuse. My ex-wife was very physically, mentally, and emotionally abusive. She had also, on more than one occasion, uh, that, that she had admitted to me about this right before we got divorced, but that she had more, on, more than on one occasion sexually assaulted me in my sleep. Um... So, right now, I'm really hoping that the, you might be able to get the community to help me out. As a rideshare driver, my primary source of income is my vehicle, and I ended up losing my vehicle. And because of that, I may end up losing my only home. Because I don't have enough money to cover rent. And I know for a fact I don't have enough money to get my car back out without assistance. I can't take out loans because of everything that I've been through. I've been... I guess the phrase would be screwed over from family, my mom and my aunt in particular, taking out payday loans in my name online. And the companies won't close out the accounts because of them being done online, because there's no way to prove that it was not me that did it. But I have horrible credit now because of it, so I can't take out loans. And I know for a fact that with my rent, my electric, my internet and the man money that I have to get paid in order to get my car back is going to run me probably about $6,000. I barely have $100 to my name right now. So I hope that you see this and I hope you'd be able to help. I need to be able to have my car back so I can get my daughter to doctor's appointments, psychologists, uh, orthopedic specialists because she herself is also a victim of sexual abuse and sexual assault because her stepdad sexually assaulted her when she was 12 multiple times she was a victim of abuse because her mom when she was living with her abused her more than once 
and with her being autistic, I need to be able to get her to specialists, and I can't do that without the the assistance of my vehicle. I do hope you see this. I pray that you see this, and I pray that you can help. <laughs>